Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit more about what happens after the assassination of, assassination of Franz Ferdinand and how this is going to lead to war. Uh, we said that the Black Hand, a Serbian terrorist group, is responsible uh, for the, uh, the death of Franz Ferdinand and his wife, Sophie. So it's a, a terribly dreadful situation, and Austria-Hungary is upset, obviously, because the Archduke is dead, but they see this as an opportunity not just to get justice uh, for the Archduke, but also an opportunity to take advantage of poor Serbia, uh, a country that's significantly smaller and significantly weaker. And so what happens, uh, June 28th is the assassination, and in the days following, they list uh, what historians call uh, the July ultimatum uh, to... Uh, uh, to Serbia to provide them some context for what it's going to take to make this situation right. And the things included in the ultimatum uh, were ridiculous, like allowing the Austro-Hungarian military to come into Serbia uh, and, and do inspections and round up terrorists and people who were connected to the assassination. In fact, they made the list in the ultimatum so ridiculous that they knew Serbia wouldn't comply and wouldn't agree to comply. They want war. They see it as a way of expanding the empire and preserving their status in world affairs. Now, while this is going on, while they're forming this ultimatum and uh, delivering it, they get an unexpected dose of good news. Kaiser Wilhelm II in, uh, in Germany has done something that is remarkably stupid. Uh, for many different reasons, including the fact that he's a little bit, uh, Kaiser Wilhelm is a little bit romantic in a way. He uh, loved the story about how the Archduke had married his true love, even though she was a commoner. And uh, he also saw the attack on the Archduke as uh, a threat to monarchs everywhere. That if this goes without severe, swift punishment, then he might be a target and other monarchs might be targets. And that's not how the world was meant to operate. So Kaiser Wilhelm II is going to give uh, a promise of support to Austria-Hungary. Uh, Austria uh, he gives what historians refer to as the blank check, a promise of unconditional support in whatever Austria-Hungary wants to do to punish Serbia. And it's an absolutely bold move where he, uh, uh, he commits Germany and the fate of his country to whatever Austria-Hungary wants to do. That only uh, causes Austria-Hungary to be a little more puffed up because they know they have a great military might uh, on their side. And that means they feel like this is going to be the easiest land grab in history. Now, while this is going on, you've got another problem that develops here, too. Serbia is panicking because they don't know what to do. But at the same time, they're going to get an unexpected dose of help from their side. Uh, Russia, Imperial Russia and Tsar Nicholas II, they are going to jump in and stick up for the Serbians. Why? Because they are both Slavic peoples. And ultimately, Russia takes the position of, hey, you can't pick on Serbia uh, for this because it's simply not right and we're going to stick up for our Slavic brothers. So now Russia's going to jump in on here too. Now, this is where things get even crazier. The alliances are going to uh, are going to kick in, and now you've got the potential for world war. Uh, you have Germany and Austria-Hungary, and remember, Italy is not going to jump in with them. They're going to bail, but the Ottoman Empire is going to jump in with Germany here as well. And now when Russia says they're going to support Serbia, you have Great Britain and France who are going to be ostensibly involved also. So that means instead of a localized conflict just between Austria, Hungary, and Serbia, now you have multiple nations that have military power in some of the most armed and politically uh, dangerous countries in the world arguing over what's going to happen to poor Serbia. That's what's going to bring about the conflict here. And unfortunately, it's despite uh, some attempts at diplomacy to save the situation, um, both sides refuse to budge on this. Uh, Serbia doesn't meet all the demands that Austria-Hungary wants. 
Uh, Austria-Hungary is going to go to war. They're going to pull Germany in with them. Russia says we're not going to sit around and let this happen. So they jump in and they commit their military forces to helping. And then France and eventually Great Britain are going to jump in as well. That's how it's going to go down.